Nissan Duke, built to thrill. Hi Virgin Red Room, I'm here at Hula Nails and I'm going to go and get my nails done. Let's go inside. So today I'm getting it's like a pinky red and then I'm getting leopard print on the top, like nail art. So I'm quite excited, I haven't had nail art in years, so I'm excited and it'll be all glamorous. I've got a gig tonight, so yeah. The past year has been absolutely incredible. Like obviously, I was in the biggest television show at the age of 16, I've just left school. Um, and then a year later, I've got my first single due to be released, my music video was shot in LA. I'm just having the absolute time of my life and I'm still only 17, so it's just such a whirlwind, but I'm loving every minute of it. I think I'm quite girly, but really edgy. I like a lot of grunge as well. Um, my wardrobe's very dark colours. I like, like, greys and blacks. I like my look to look a bit effortless. Um, bit of a bedhead look, really. <laughs> I always like poorly jumpers. I actually got quite a few the other day, like really baggy, like effortless jumpers, off the shoulder jumpers, um, look a bit distressed. I'm a northern girl, like I'd still go to the shop in my onesie, do you know what I mean? No makeup on, like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty genuine when it comes to stuff like that. I have been watching The X Factor uh, since it started and it's finally hit me, like, what's happened to me in this year. Every time I'm watching it, like, my heart's popping out my chest and I'm thinking, these people don't have a clue what's going to happen to their lives. Good luck to them all because it's, it's a massive opportunity. I keep in touch with quite many of the girls, Little Mix um, and Misha. It's so nice to see that we've all went through the same thing and how we've all gone our separate ways and, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. Kelly actually rang me a couple of weeks ago when I was on my radio tour and she said, oh, I've just seen your video, I'm so proud of you. She was like, I'm going to beat you up for not calling me when I was in LA. You know, so I was just like cracking up at her. Um, but it's always nice to hear from Kelly Rowland, obviously. I just think, oh well, um, you know, YOLO, as people say nowadays, you know, you only live once. You know, if you like someone, go for it. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. Do you know what I mean? That's just the way I look at it. The most awkward day I've ever been on was with a boy who was younger than me. He took me to Nando's and he was just so cringy. I'd only kind of just met the lad, so I wasn't really comfortable with calling him like baby and stuff like that. Like I just, I don't get all that shiznit. Um, <laughs> shiznit, <laughs> that's my new word. Um, but um, yeah, I just, I, I won't, I don't think I'll go near a younger guy again. I'm really into my dog at the moment. I got her a couple of weeks ago um, and literally I take her everywhere with me. Um, I just absolutely love animals to bits. If I didn't have this lifestyle, I would have loads of little fluffy animals, whether it was little yellow chicks or bunnies. I used to actually have 28 guinea pigs, so my little dog is my absolute world. I'm also really into gay pride at the moment. Um, I performed at the Manchester one and literally it's probably one of the best gigs I've ever done. Just the crowd are incredible. I just think the gay crowds are always incredible and they're always singing the song and just an amazing vibe off them. I love it. It's mental. I like that people recognise me on the street and you know want my picture and autograph. I'm like, I'm just Amelia. Um, it's quite incredible and I still can't believe it's actually happening to me. I'm just really excited to see what's gonna happen um, and hopefully that it'll last a very long time. Well, that's it, guys. I'm done and my nails are finished. There we go. Check them out. Bit of bling going on. So, yeah, I'm all done and I'll uh, hopefully catch you again soon. Bye. Nissan Duke. Built to thrill.